and I hope my voice is clear uh, right now in this video as I got many requests that I should use my voice in the, uh, including the video so I am trying I hope uh, it will be okay for you uh, I just open both the SHS and uh, now just scroll down here and copy the this command and we need to paste in data validator SHS and uh, from here let me just increase the size from here you can see uh, in which SHS we are right now okay just let that command run and copy the second one and run this thing again okay so it will take some time it's so meanwhile i just need to increase the size of hive cluster n okay so yeah now just wait for a few time and uh, It will be done in, in any second okay it's done now run the last command and check for the task one and uh, we got the task one okay in task two we need to pay some attention okay just copy the first command paste it over here it will take some time okay now paste over this command after pasting this command it will ask for do we want to continue or not like that so press capital Y it will give that error no need to worry just copy this thing and uh, from here copy your project ID and paste over here so you are good to go now this is the important thing uh, otherwise uh, please pay attention copy this command open your any text pad and uh, paste this command over here and uh, from your VM instance copy the internal IP of your hive hive cluster VM and from dollar sign to master IP just delete all these things and make sure you give the proper space between the host and port and run this command to here if you don't do this you won't get the score now no need about to this now run this command and uh, yeah we are good to go now the final command we have to run this connection command and yeah no need to run the sixth command and we are good to go on task number three okay now as i already opened the hive cluster m okay so just copy this thing type over here like hive and it will take some time for uh, making a connection and launching the hive in this virtual machine and just paste this thing like that and uh, in your col the column validation command copy this and go to your data validation SSS and paste over here it will take some time so you can take some kind of rest and please make sure that your uh, device or the laptop or desktop which you are using is not good to, to sleep okay so yeah wait for some time
okay so it's done now run the some validation come on it will not take some time the row validation copy this command run over here and then schema validation copy this command it's done now run this command schema validation and now we are good to go and yeah now task 4 now you have to pay attention over here because it's quite complicated so copy the first command and run over here and uh, yeah done now in this lab they are used the <coughs> vi editor okay but uh, but I don't like VI editor because it's quite complicated. So I will use the nano editor. So just copy th this thing and come over here and paste uh, type nano and space and run copy that mascot. Uh, and uh, from result to at last like type copy this thing and paste over here. And for saving this file, press Ctrl X. It will ask do you want to uh, save the buffer Sp uh, press capital Y and hit enter so it will be saved and you can cross verify from here like the file is created or not so you can see like this file has been created okay now I run this command for me uh, this time this command is fully loaded if not you uh, if if it's not for you just refresh the page last time i faced the issue on this command that's why i know and uh, we are good to go and uh, now done now you have to pay attention over here so just open the cloud shell here and uh, the cloud shell and copy from result schema dot json okay and uh, as we done in the SHS now we have to do the same thing in here they are using the VI editor uh, but we are using nano editor because it's quite easy it's not that much complicated so just uh, type nano and space and that file name copy this whole thing paste over here press ctrl x y and uh, hit enter for saving the file now come over around here and run this command in your cloud shell it will ask for the authentication and hit enter and now copy the command number 5 and go to your data validator and paste the here now it will take some time no need to do this sixth seventh all these steps come over here and check the score and you will get the score i hope you like the video and please let me know if you need any help thanks for watching guys good day